Have fun at school. That got out of hand really fast. And they never paid us. I told them 50 pesos for a drive. All right, we better get out of here. Every other kid wants a ride. <laughs> Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From another amazing day here on, on the island of Chargao. <laughs> If you caught our previous video, we went and explored some amazing islands just right off of this area. It's so beautiful. Today though, we're going to keep it a little more chill, a little more delicious, and try all the yummy food this area has to offer. So we are on the island of General Luna today. It's in the uh, southern eastern part of Shargao. This town is actually known for having some incredible food. We've been here for about a week now and we've been scouting out all kinds of different food spots. We are so excited to try some of them today. So if you come to the island, this will likely be your home base, even if you're gonna go exploring all over the island. It's a really easy uh, jumping off point, so you can easily get all over the island, all the great spots, even to the airport from yeah. here. Today we are going to find some more low-key local spots that are off the main street, but we're also gonna go to some of the more well-known places because some of the places around here, even though they're popular with the tourists, the locals even and rave about it. But first things first, we have to have some breakfast and we have to have some coffee to start this day. Because it is uh, already hot out here, oh. even though it's like 8.30 in the morning. I'm so glad we have the tuk-tuk. This is the way to do it. Get a tuk-tuk because you get under the shade. That is the key. I promise I do actually know how to drive this thing. I think. See you later, adventurers. <laughs> We've been completely blown away by the coffee in General Luna. Um, I don't think we've had a bad cup yet. No, it's all been fantastic. We want to take you guys to our favorite place. It is called White Beard Coffee. It's actually run by a guy with a little strip of white in his beard. I don't know if he's here today, but Very we'll introduce him if we can find him. <laughs> we got our coffee. It's absolutely delicious. They put the best little ice cubes in it. It's a big ball ice cube and a cube ice cube. <laughs> it's pretty. It's funny to say a ball ice cube. Ball that doesn't really ice, add up, does no. it? It's not a cube. It's no. a ball. It's a nice ball. Cheers make it so good here. They also have amazing breakfasts, you guys. Can it get any better? So, they have waffles here. And we have tried quite a few in the town already. These are the best. They have some like cinnamon in the dough. We got the bacon and eggs. You can do your eggs any way you want. You could also get sausage with it. We're also splitting this because, you know, we're gonna be eating oh, all day yeah. long. <laughs> and they put a good amount of syrup on here, which I love. Fish hot, fresh, so yummy. It's also just super chill vibes here. They always have this chill music playing. Yeah, we got a little puppy sleeping over here. It's so awesome. I love it. Doesn't get much better. Coffee, like, oh. Cheers. <laughs> to a good start to the day. To the island life. To the island life. <laughs> Whitebeard is actually down in the downtown area, if you want to call it that, of General Luna. But there is also a place that we really love, kind of further up north towards Cloud Nine. It's called the Spotted Pig. I'd say their coffee is just as good. Their food is way more expensive, but they have different options. But if you're closer to that side of town, we definitely recommend Spotted Pig. You guys, we found the real white beard. <laughs> he he does exist. <laughs> His beard isn't completely white, but he's got it's, this little... It's, it's uh, natural white. Yeah. My barista friends, they always call me white beard. Oh, <laughs> so they are the one who really inject to me, okay, you should name your shop white beard coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we love the coffee, so yeah. keep it up. <laughs> Our next stop, we've come to this little corner shop called Coco Frio. We've actually been dying to go here because we keep driving by it. It's this little shack that has the most awesome teal design on the outside. When you go in, they have all these different coconut inspired drinks on the wall. It was really hard to decide what to get. We took quite a few recommendations from the girl who runs the shop. I ordered the Coco Sunrise, which I'll show you in just a minute. But the minute I ordered it, she just grabbed some coconuts. She chopped them up on her little stand over there on the side of the shop. And now she's preparing the drinks. Did you come up with all the flavors yourself? Um, yes, these are Vietnamese inspired. Oh, okay. Um, and this drink is really from Hanoi, Vietnam. Oh, the coconut coffee freeze? Yeah. This beauty here is the Coco Sunrise. It is orange, lemon, honey, and sea salt. And it's ice cold. It just sounded so refreshing. And I'm, it's so hot outside. I'm so thirsty. She said this is essentially the natural Gatorade. Ooh, it is really good. It's, it's barely sweet. It's more on the tart end. So cold and so refreshing. Nice job. Really good. <laughs> she knows what she's doing here. 
All right, my drink is ready. It is the coconut coffee freeze, and it is frozen and delicious. I know we just had coffee, but can you ever have too much coffee and mix with coconut? So it's Vietnamese coffee in here, so there's a little condensed milk. They blend the uh, coconut meat in there with coconut milk, coffee, condensed milk. Oh my gosh, you could get it sweeter. I got it a little less sweet. Mm. Totally different than Eric, but still super refreshing and so good. Such a unique way to have your coffee in the morning. We've got a tree full of kids. <laughs> Hi. You guys need a ride? 50 pesos. 50 pesos? Yeah, sure. Do you have 50 pesos? No. Are you sure I'm a really bad driver? Do you trust her to drive it? Allison's officially driving the tuk tuk, you guys. Check her out. I did it. She's Nothing a natural. That happened yet. Yeah. No rice. No rice. No rice. <laughs> Next up, we are trying a Filipino dish called Toro Toro. It's not really a dish exactly, but when you drive around the Philippines, you're going to see all these different roadside stalls with a bunch of pans just full of different dishes, and Toro Toro means point point. So basically, you walk up, you point to what you want, they scoop it on a plate, and then you eat it, and everyone's it's happy. It's really great for foreigners when you don't know the name of anything. <laughs> yeah, and plus, they'll tell you, you can just ask them what all the dishes are, and it's a really good way to learn all the dishes because you can find a huge spread of Filipino dishes up there. This might be our favorite way to eat here in the Philippines because they always have have fresh veggies so you got we got some orange and some green on the plate surprisingly hard to find here it's mostly just meat and rice we also got some chicken adobo over here which is chicken cooked in its marinade so it's super flavorful this is supposed to be spicy pork although I think we've yet to have anything really spicy here in the Philippines yeah, apparently they don't really do much spicy food no here. some chopped up string beans and then they said this is chop suey I thought so we usually had cabbage in it, but this is just carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. Oh, and he convinced us to get a little um, veggie spring roll. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm really excited to try this chicken adobo. This is a very common dish you're gonna find all over the place here, but you can see how the meat just falls apart. It cooks in that marinade and it just seeps into it, so it should be full of flavor. Oh, man. It is so flavorful. The flavor of the marinade is great. It's tangy and a little bit sweet, and it's almost like a little bit gelled, you know, because the dishes up there, they kind of sit there, and it can be a little off-putting to a foreigner, but you're supposed to just eat them like that. Some places look more fresh than others, but they look really fresh up there. Let's see what spice you got, Philippines. Mmm. Mm. A little bit heat in there. Oh, I'm impressed. The flavor is so nice. It is a little spicy, which I am loving. Not too spicy, but it almost tastes like, um, spiced pork jerky, but really tender. It's not chewy. It kind of falls apart in your mouth. Filipinos know how to cook some meat. Yeah, they really do. It's crazy. Yeah. It's just all the all the barbecue, fried chicken, the pork. Oh, it's all so good. This little Toro Toro spot is called uh, Tuna on the Road. I don't know if it's actually on the map. I couldn't find it, but we'll pinpoint it for you. But it is on the road. It is on the road. And there's actually another one right next to it. So if they don't have what you want, you can come to this one. And they're both also fruit and veggie stands, which is super convenient. So vegan cuisine is surprisingly big on this island. As are fruit bowls, the place we're about to go to has both. Buo Nama. Oh, <laughs> that she was yelling at me. But it's actually literally just a kitty corner to where we just ate lunch. So it was a nice short walk. All right, let's go eat some fruit bowl. Yes. All right, I wasn't convinced I wanted something sweet again until I got this in my hands and now I'm so excited. It is so hot outside. They have the AC blasting in here and we have this deliciousness. So this is like pureed banana ice cream. We got the mix, so it also has acai in there. This is called the Nutty Gritty Bowl and it has slivers of almonds, some peanut butter, bananas, some granola whoop, back in there, and then of course the base. Gotta get a little bit of the pink berry. Oh yeah, the acai puree, yeah. part. I got some granola on the back there. The perfect bite. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. oh yeah. Mm. That's the pleasure dance. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's so good. It's so cold. It's so sweet, but also a little savory and salty with the peanut butter in the end. The banana is so fresh. The granola is nice and sweet back in there. If you're not familiar with acai, it's a berry 
that comes from a certain kind of palm tree in South America. I think it became super popular because people found out it has all these antioxidant properties and other health properties. I mean, I've had it like maybe once or twice, but I can't even really remember. It's not something I eat often. Mm. Smaller bite. Mm. So cool, right? Definitely do smaller bites. Woo! That'll freeze your teeth right off. Oh my God, that peanut butter, you guys. Oh, it's so good. I love the combination of the sweet soft serve and then the sticky kind of sweet peanut butter. They're just two completely different textures and it just goes together so well. There are multiple places around the island, especially in this area where you can get acai bowls like this. The most popular one, when you search for them in General Luna, you're gonna find Chaka Cafe, which is kind of down the road a ways. We debated whether or not we should go there, but everyone knows that the Chaka Cafe is good. So we wanted to try something a little different. And I have to say, can highly recommend it. Buo Nana or Bo Nana, I don't know, something like that. We have just been seated at Kermit. It is 6.30 p.m. on a Wednesday and there was a wait when we arrived. Good to know. People recommended this and I guess the word is out because there is a wait even on weekdays. I think the wait will be worth it because they have pizza here, y'all. I mean, they have a slew of other things, all kinds of pastas and fresh seafood and curries and things, but the pizza is what we are here for. And the happy hour drinks. Yeah. We just placed our order and we cannot wait. Pizza should be here shortly. The pizzas have arrived. This is the Gianni pizza. It's spicy salami, mozzarella, and Parmesan on there. It just sounded so good and so simple. Our waitress recommended it. And then we built our own because you can build your own pizza, so why not? So we have bell peppers, olives, artichokes, feta, and regular salami. Oh my God, the pizza here looks so good. And they're making it all fresh back there. Mm. 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 The spicy salami is delicious. It's all perfectly cooked. It's the perfect amount of spicy. But this dough, check that out. Look at those little burn parts on the bottom. They add so much flavor. It's more on the soft end. It's that kind of pizza, like a folding type of pizza. Oh my God. I did not expect to get this good a pizza on Chargao. I feel like you can't go wrong with spicy salami and stuff. So let's see how we did being our own inventors of pizza. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's all falling. How did we do? We did a really good job. I don't know if those artichokes are canned or not, but they're definitely marinated artichokes and they taste really good. Side note, artichokes on pizza. Oh, Quite good. Uh, just so good. I swear, like the coffee this morning at Whitebeard's, this pizza rivals big city pizza. Like stuff we've had in New York and San Francisco. We didn't eat that much pizza in Italy, so I can't compare it to that necessarily, but it's, it's so good. good. It's real so good. flavorful. Pizza cheers. Is that a thing? We're yeah, making it sure. a thing. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> pizza <laughs> cheers. This is over. This food tour is not over, you guys. We decided to extend it one more day because there's one more dinner spot we wanted to take you guys to. This is Mama's Grill, and it is very famous in General Luna. When you walk up, you're gonna see these guys grilling a bunch of meats on their barbecue. It is very popular. This is a Thursday night, and this place is completely packed. Sadly, I don't know if we can actually get a spot in here. There's a huge line over there. There isn't a single spot to sit over here, but we have a backup plan. It's actually really common in Filipino culture to be barbecuing like this, usually right on the street. Earlier in the week, we actually drove past a more low-key spot that was gonna be our backup if Mama's was too crowded. But we hear Mama's is great, so if you have the chance, check it out. But I think we're gonna head to the local spot. Does that sound good? Sounds great, because okay. this is making me super hungry. Yeah, let's do it. We arrived at our final stop for the night. We actually went to the other side of town to this little restaurant called Bebby's. Or maybe it's Bebe's, not really sure. Not sure. We've been saying Bebby's. I'm going with Bebby's. In my head, yeah. 
Uh, and we thought it said Chargao is best, but it actually says Surigao is best. And then we panicked and thought this was a chain restaurant, but I think there's only one other location in Surigao. Either way, it's the best of something, and that's great, right? Yeah, yeah we kind of taken a gamble on this place. Yeah, significantly less crowded, which is great for filming, but who knows what that means about the, the quality of the barbecue. So how these barbecue places work is you go up and there's usually a case with just a bunch of raw meat, sometimes vegetables in there. You just pick out what you want, they grill it up right on the grill out in front, and then serve it to you. And they doused all of ours in this delicious barbecue sauce. It smells so sweet and delicious. As you can see, we probably ordered too much. We'll do our best. I think I'm gonna try this big old bit of pork here first. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. I'm just gonna eat this right off of the steak. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's satisfying the minute that you bite into it. <laughs> I would say the pork is cooked okay, but the glaze that's on the outside of it is the star. It's just the perfect balance of sweet and savory, and it's really salty. It is just so satisfying. Mm. I think Allison's gonna give this chicken a try. Yeah, so I got, I think this is your leg. Got way too much stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of meat. Okay. Just take a big old bite right Let's off there. Just take a bite. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it does smell so nicely grilled. Look at all that chard on there. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I was worried when you said that your pork chop wasn't cooked well. I was like, oh great, the chicken's gonna be super dry and overdone, but it is not. It's super moist in there, and it's really tender. And the sauce, the barbecue sauce, is nice and sweet and salty on there, but it's not overwhelming, and it's just a really nice grilled piece of chicken. We had such an amazing time exploring this city, eating everything it had to offer. I feel like we did a good job kind of trying a little bit of everything, but let us know if you've been here before what your favorite spots are so that other people can go there or we can come back and go to those. But I think our time down here in General Luna has come to an end. I think we are going to be heading north up the island next time oh, you yeah. see us. Still more adventures more to, to come. Yes. So I guess that's it for today. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road, literally, in the tuk-tuk tomorrow. <laughs>